man. Flat tire first thing this morning. How does that strike your soul? Well, depending on the day, I can see how spiritually fit I am when things like this happen, you know? If I'm getting real agitated and irritated, I might be needing to lean into Jesus a little bit more. Because the thing is, is when I'm finding my my security in Him, my life in Him, my hope in Him, my joy in Him, that it doesn't really matter so much how these other things affect us. Like the gospel's really simple. Live only, and I mean only, by the Spirit. In our hyper-psychologized culture, somebody right about now, if they were agitated about this, would be looking back at their past and how mom hurt them and dad hurt them and everything else to understand why they're so insecure and they aren't relying on the Lord. You know, after 14 years of doing this, the simplicity of the gospel is finally set in after doing stuff like that constantly. The reality is, is that life just happens sometimes. Stuff happens, tires are popped, they're dead, you're late, things don't go as planned. The question isn't to look back at your past and see how badly you were wounded and how how things happened to you. It's to press into the Lord. It's to lean into the Spirit. In Romans 8, Paul says, focus on the Spirit, not on the flesh. If you're focusing on the flesh, if you're focusing on carnal man, on your fallen human nature, the past, and all those kind of things, and earthly things, you cannot please God cannot it's about the Lord it's about right now I had a bit of an agitation not too bad the place I'm at this morning is I was a little irritated but it wasn't a game changer for me because immediately the thought came to mind take the van wife's not leaving kids are at home so take that little bit of agitation and lean into the Lord right and what comes when I lean that agitation into him tell other people about it Maybe it'll be helpful for somebody, I don't know. But when you experience the agitations and frustrations, don't turn around and go back. There's no reason to. Just the pain that's there right now, bring it to him. This whole need to understand everything is really control. What I'm not saying is that there's no value in understanding why we do the things we do. Self-knowledge is important. But self-knowledge doesn't come by our own initiative to go back and seek and discover. That's self-will. What understanding comes is it's a gift from the Holy Spirit. So as these agitations come up right here, before the Lord, I say, Jesus, what's happening here? Please enter into this. I hold the actual pain open to him. And whatever he reveals, he reveals. It's so much simpler, so much easier. So, yeah, off to an interesting start today. But it is beautiful and sunny. Going to see a friend later that I haven't seen for a few weeks. So I'm excited about that. Have a good day.